said, Bruno, I think it's about that time. Yeah, I think we're stepping out and we leave Andrew and David. Which is David? Which one? <laughs> so confusing, Bruno. David. Like seven Zayori David and out. Lumi. Zayori and Lumi. David Nanjang. <laughs> Thank you. Take it away. All right. So, Big God versus Secret, one of the more anticipated matches of our opening day, the group stage. Burning will take the Juggernaut. Gets a ward down nice and early. Um, am I supposed to be locking my camera on something here? Or just... Okay, so I can just ignore this? I don't have to touch it? Okay. I mean, you, you can touch it if you want. All right, I'll just leave it alone. Yeah. Okay, so, what's up, Lumi? What do we have going on here? Uh, we have... Dire's I, mean, I can't even see the preview screen. I'm going to look at Okay, all right, we'll share our preview screen here. Right. This is good. So all it right. seems like Arteezy so far is deciding on going on the mid lane, although his item choice is quite interesting for a mid lane build. Yeah. It, is he just, no, he can't be jungling. It, it looks like a very safe lane oriented build. Yeah. Uh oh, we lost our preview. What did you do? Oh no, that wasn't me. Uh, all right, okay, right, there good. we go. Okay, so up top, we'll maybe we'll battle begins. about that top bounty rune. Nope, not quite. So it looks like Zai will go off lane on the Bristleback. Where does that leave the rest of the secret lanes here? Arteezy will take the Lycan, still kind of undecided where he's going. Looks like he is headed mid to rendezvous with Puppy on the Dazzle. That leaves us with two in the bottom lane, the Visage as well as the Centaur. With the Centaur played by S4, soaking up all that farm, looking for a nice quick blink dagger. Yeah, so I think LD talked about how he really likes Secret Draft, but I didn't really get your opinion. What do you think here? Who's got the better draft? I like the Secret Draft. I think it just fits so well in this meta right now. There's these big tanky cores that can also put out a lot of damage alongside um, surviving through a lot. And you look at the BG lineup, and it's not like a, a team of super squishy heroes, but I just don't see them being able to handle this kind of face rush once you have a Blink Dagger up on the Centaur, once Bristle's kind of coming online and like this ball. I think controlling Rose will be very difficult for uh, Big God. Yeah, I think Secret's got much more of the balance draft, but at the same time, if BG gets a, for example, a three-man uh, reverse polarity, then things could get really ugly for Secret as well. So I think BG's lineup is much more difficult to execute. Yes. But should they execute, it's going to be uh, a spectacular game for them. Yeah, I could I could agree with that. I mean, up against three melee cores, Magnus, it should be a game where he kind of shines. Um, should be a little bit easier for him to at least get a couple two-man RPs at the very least. And we can't forget about empower, empower on Jug as well. Yes. That's very, very important. Allows him to solo Roche a little bit easier, farm more effectively, and you know, just more damage output. Okay, I mean, early game is just pretty standard pulling, harassing. I don't think we're going to see early first bloods, especially not in the mid lane, right? Mm -hmm. Both people is going to be farming away. And I think that's really not in the favor. Oh, As I said, not to see early first bloods. A like great Fissure Block is going to force as a left, but how immediately comes yeah. out. Exactly. The Howl is, like you pointed out in the draft, not something to underestimate. That extra damage adds a lot, especially in these early levels when those right clicks are more important. It's it's pretty serious. Yeah, but I was saying, I, I think Lycan trading farm with uh, Magnus, you want that early last on Lycan, but I feel like the, the farm is benefiting uh, a little bit more. Than. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like he's gearing up for a nice fast flag with the uh, ring protection. Cecilius. Nothing too wild. Now Puppy rotating in. Poison onto Zhao Wei. And I think he'll be okay here. Despite Dazzle being hasted up, he does have a well, skewer. Actually, is he going to be okay? Puppy's doing a lot of damage. He's going to have to skewer upwards, but he's got haste. He's chasing. In fact, he can snipe the curve if he wants. Bottle's going to come right now. This could be a first blood. Hasten Puppy going for it. The poison touch is going to come down. Is he going to tire die? In fact, he will. The house going to come out. Shockwave trying to Woo! juke. The first blood's going to go to Puppy. Okay, and he lives from the tower. Yes, he will. With a few points to stir. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Crow gets a kill on the Witch Doctor. Now has four on the run. Burning may actually be the one that goes down here. He does the double edge. Dazzle ends up getting killed by a neutral. Oh, that's somewhere else. Right. That threw me off. Yeah. So, okay, one for one down bottom. Fissure on the top. Jeez. This is an action packed game. I love this. Three to three so far, but if you look at, I mean, most of the core is on, on Secret died, right? So. Technically, yeah. it's favoring Big God, but I'm not really sure yeah, so how where much. Did, where did the Dazzle die? Was that just an intentional suicide yeah, to the neutrals? Was that without a fight? I'm totally... He, he just threw out the creeps in the... Oh, okay, just for the, the TP back to the base. Yeah. Okay. Not yeah, nothing crazy. So, 3-3, three to three, but Secret, they seem to be the ones coming out on top. The Lycan is the one racking up the farm in the mid, while Puppy was chasing the uh, Magnus. Artor is just racking up that farm. Yeah, I mean, it's okay in the sense that Puppy could always allow you to catch up. Yeah, because Lycan can't really flash farm the same uh, same way uh, Magnus can, so yeah, it's not too bad for him. No, could certainly be worse. Juggernaut, not getting huge farm in the off lane. Meanwhile, up top, ROTK in some trouble. Zai getting a very aggressive here, but no points in the goo, so not too much kill potential. Now, meanwhile, in the bottom, it's just non-stop aggression here in this match. 
I mean, you really see the power of how here because every time that gets activated, you have a very free grave chill and just start right clicking or poison touch and start right clicking. You don't really need to commit a lot, but you still get a ton of progress in. And not all just comes from the Lycan in the mid lane. It's very hard to gank this Lycan mid because he's constantly there with heals and graves. So, very well thought out draft from Secret. Very strong laning. Yeah. Strong lanes and then just great synergy all the way through the mid game as well. One of the signs of a, of a good draft for sure. Burning, still not getting a lot of CS in this offlane though. Only nine last hits in four minutes. As we talked about, uh, you see the team relies on Burning getting a lot of farm and doing huge damage towards the mid and late game. Meanwhile, back up top now, ROTK in a lot of trouble, but Puppy may be the one that goes down. It's a one for one trade, dazzle for Viper. Sai looking for Lamb, but I don't think he'll find him here. Nope, just goes back to farming. You know, normally when you just say Bristleback versus the Viper, one on one, you would assume that the Viper is dominating him. He's being a range hero, he's slow. But just adding a Dazzle and the How, being able to trade up like that is uh, pretty effective for you. So, you know, getting your opinion here, what, what can BG do to kind of recover? Even though they're trading evenly, you see on the gold graph that Secret yeah. is dominating. Yeah, about 2,000 net worth in their favor. Even the, the uh, experience is going their way. I think they need to prioritize farm on the jug. That's the biggest thing that I'm seeing for like everyone else on Big God. Like, yeah, Viper, he's struggling in lane a little, but it's a Viper. He can still do a lot of damage. He can recover the jug. They need him to, to help control these tempos. And even just for Roche control, that's the other big thing. Okay. I think BG really need to prioritize getting Roche not only for their jug, but just stopping it from uh, from the Lycan. I mean, th does their lineup have a plan B, though? Because Jug is Roche hitting up top. He's, he's jungling. I don't think this is a plan B they're looking for. Denied. This is more of a plan C, is what I would think, but... I don't know. I mean, the 2-1-2 backfiring a little bit. Can you afford to just sack the off lane, have a support follow burning around, and help him power through the jungle? I guess it's a little early for the uh, the empower to really do too too much here. No point in it quite yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. jungle farming is not bad if you have somebody else to take the bottom lane. Essentially, you're getting more farm for your entire team. But if you look at the bottom lane for BG, yeah. there's nobody there just because nobody could, could stay there. So I think BG is just slowly losing out and. That's something that we talked, you know, in the pre-show, that BG never wins their lane, right? So this is expected. Yeah. And and the question is, can Burning carry 20 minutes in the game? And I don't really think so. What's also scary here is that Secret's lineup isn't even really online yet. I mean, what when it really gets scary is when the Centaur hits six, when he gets a Blink Dagger. Um, even when the Lycan starts moving around, he doesn't even have Light Steel yet. This is supposed to be when Secret's lineup is pretty weak, and they are getting a lot of farm. Just look at the last hits, and yeah. it's obvious which team has the advantage. So I, I think the big priority here for BG is to get that quick blink on Shower. Like he, he is the person that could turn it around. Mm -hmm. uh, Lamb getting a blink would be excellent, but obviously he's just playing a support Earth Shaker. We can't expect too much from him. Yeah, up top, Zai initiated on as the Fissure comes out, but again, just no kill potential, especially with the Dazzle behind him. BG kind of limited in their options. At least Xiao 8 is getting good farm, as you were yeah. pointing out. 1200 gold here at the 7 minute mark on Brown Boots. He's, can, he's can doing he, okay. Can he afford to uh, get the arcane, or do you think he just have to skip it and just go for the quick blink? I don't know. I think he needs the arcanes, but it, it's a tough call all this time. I, do you think he'll go for the arcanes? I think you have to skip it. What's your call on it? Um, I, I think you're doing that, like, you're doing so poorly already. Yeah, you're right. Look, just, again, looking at how far the, ahead these secret cores are, maybe you're right, just straight for the blink and do something to regain momentum for your team. They have completely sacked the offlane now. Burning is still just jungling away. He has his phase boots, at least. This is, like, the slowest jungle ever. <laughs> I mean, this is... <laughs> yeah, not very effective. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. And the other problem, too, is that now S4 is just a complete free farm. So you can expect him to have his lane in probably two minutes' time, especially if they knock down this tower. Arteezy rotating down. Those of haste picked up now. Maybe Arteezy even thinking about it. Midas, given they're so far ahead, just go greed mode here since there's no pressure on him. Yeah, I mean, Midas give, gives you, like, a quick level 16, which matter quite a bit. Uh, the uptime on your ship ship is a big part in kind of drawn-out battles. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see if it's actually going to be Midas. Could be Treads. Could be Treads, too. Yeah, we'll see. It's more that pooling up the gold that makes me a little suspicious there, if you wanted the Treads. Yeah. The big difference in this game right now is that Secret is being much more efficient. So when you saw Arteezy pushing the bottom, mm -hmm. um, this is a kind of game for level 16. That's the efficiency that we don't see from BG. Again, nobody could stay in the bottom lane because a stampede, a how means solo kill for S4. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There's gonna be some initiation there. Yeah. S4 happy as a clam down here. Very quiet from Big God. They are really dedicated to this solo jungle juggernaut. And 
Boy, is his net worth suffering from it. <laughs> I mean, the Visage is nipping at his heels. He's only like 200 gold behind. Yeah. Visage has just as much as experience also. They're both at the very beginning of level 6. This is turning into a support jug. I think if any other team watching this replay, one thing they should take out of it is that you don't give away Lycan freely without getting something big in return. I think when Arkeezy was back in EG, Lycan was... I don't want to say the bread and butter, but definitely a, a good, really powerful pocket shred. Yeah. And uh, they're just uh, showing it to BG right here. You're right. I mean, you look and at that's what... that's a Midas, like you said. There you go. So Arteezy already number one on net worth by a nice little bump. Magnus farming well, but it just feels like the perfect game for him. There's absolutely no pressure on him. Yeah. 70 CS in nine minutes, moving into the jungle. There's just like no way Big God can do anything to slow him down. Oh, there's that blink dagger throw quickly approaching. Yeah, looks like a yeah, good call there I, for you, I, sir. I'm still like, when I see, when I see 2150, I'm like, blink time. Oh, yeah. wait. I, I didn't see, it's the old blink. Those old habits die hard, man, especially okay. stuff like that. Looks like Zhao Eight's blink will come out right around the same time S4's does. His blink dagger now uh, on his tranquil boots, but this is even just a pretty fast blink for Centaur with the tranquils as well. Yeesh, this is... This is where things get hard for Big God, because yeah. Centaur has done pretty much nothing but farming. This has almost been a 4v5. And now uh, S4 has the flexibility to move around and help his team. Yeah, the, the difference between the two Blink Dagger is that Centaur's Blink means much more early game impact, because the cooldown of your Hoof Stomp as well as Double Edge is quite low compared to the Reverse Polarity. So you can set up multiple ganks. And it's much easier to set up that gank as well, because you have the, your ultimate, the Sanky, to go with it. So we'll, we'll see if it's going to be a, a easy kill at top, or will Magnus m do the counter that he needs to? Blink. Oh, ooh, Zhao Eight misses the skewer. There's a smoke rotation from Secret. Puppy as well as S4 on the way up. Looks like S4's smoke got broken. All five heroes from Big God grouped up at this top tier one tower. So even if Secret just stalemate here and kind of keep them on the edge of their seat, you've got Arteezy uh, farming the bottom and Kuroki farming in the mid, starting to pressure these towers. Yeah. One thing that Secret is a little bit hesitant in terms of initiating is that they don't know what the, what the Earthshaker is. I say that they're jumping up top here, they're going on the Viper, but you see that Earthshaker constantly being in position. Because he's uh, hidden away from Secret, they Dyer's can't commit too much because you saw it over there, a single fissure will kind of break things up. Yeah, so they do force out the Stampede from S4. Tier 1 tower up top looks like it'll fall, and minimal damage on the Tier 1 middle Dyer's and bottom. Still victory fallen. for Secret, despite having to burn that Centaur cooldown. He's feeling okay. Looks like Poppy will just move into a fast urn, and Kuroki already picked up his fast McGowan. So Roshan options quickly opening up here for Secret, especially as Arteezy gets a little closer to that lifesteal moving yep. into the Vlads. Yeah, I, I really don't know how BG can make a comeback here. Again, we're, we're still seeking that big RP. But even if you get, let's say, a three-man RP here, where is the damage coming from? Which, Which doctor, doctor doesn't have the level six yet? <laughs> I mean, at this point, Omni Slash is essentially a single target spell. Or I mean, it is a single target spell. Yeah. You don't have any big cleave to go around. You don't have a Blade Fury to follow up. So even if you find a big RP, there's not much damage to really push things through. Yeah, and Secret is just getting further and further ahead now with that Dyer's tower kill up top. top. It's like 5,000 gold and experience lead. So maybe it's tied four to four. That just speaks to how much better Secret have been working the map, finding farm, and just making it happen. S4 here, invisibility rune on, ready to fight. BG have a lot of reinforcements in the mid. Ooh. Oh, Drop the sentry to see it. Uh -oh. Okay, are they gonna go? Here comes the cats. The cats hold them. The fissure blink shockwave. They're throwing everything on S4. He almost could have survived if the Dazzle got in range for the grave, but. Yeah, it's only level one, so that's short range. Difference between life or death, but just showing how difficult it is for BG to do damage. That was just one hero. Right. Imagine if that was a 5v5. That uh, is where things are. Now, I, I don't want to rain on the BG fans, but even though they got a pretty potent kill on S4, they're not getting any objective from it because they don't have a Lycan. They don't have a, a Visage Bird to push off of. Yeah. So At least they've got Burning Farming yes. in the side lane. It's yeah, a very important kill. Down. It's a very important kill, but they're not getting much apart from the single hero kill gold. Yeah. Bristleback now with a mechanism picked up. It's a nice little piece there for Secret. Probably a sign that they'll want to continue to stay aggressive here. Mm -hmm. Of course, a great early team fighting item. I mean, good news, and really makes that bristle tanky. Now 11 armor, 1200 HP. He's, under attack. He's, he's pretty solid. He's feeling comfortable. It would not surprise me if Secret just go ham on, on just 5 mid with this uh, mech, because BG already lacks damage at this point, and adding a mech to that just simply makes them almost unkillable. The only dangerous uh, part of doing that is, you Dyer's know, it makes RP much stronger. Yeah. And Xiaowei has been holding to that RP. He hasn't used it for a good 
13, 14 minutes now. Yeah, still no arcane boots up on him. Zion the front lines. He gets the positive fire. medallion buff. 18 Dyer's armor now. He just tanks the tower attack. and. Yeah, it looks like you're right. They're just going to group up, stay as five, defensive weave on four of the five. Oh, they've got to have one down bottom, right. like in split pushing. But defensive weave, and this will be an easy tower. He's there with how. Yeah, he's there. Yeah, exactly. BG is thinking fallen. about an opening. Xiao Wei in the tree line with a haste rune on, considering his options, but Secret is ready for it. A nice delta split, nobody on top of each other. There's just no easy opening for this Magnus. Yeah, I think when you're ahead, and that, this is not just for Dota, but any kind of like eSport game is that you think about Dyer's how you're actually going to lose. And I think the only way that Secret can lose is getting four or five energy. So why don't you just stick the Bristol back Dyer's up? He's got, I don't fallen. know what, a billion armor with medallion above, weave with a mech. Yeah. And he's going to beat on a tower. And there's nothing BG can do about it. Yeah. Viper, he's picked up a mech also. So Phase Boots uh, mech his opener. Some good team fighting for BG. At least they're even on that front. The other issue here for BG is they just... Even farming evenly right now, just sitting back, not trading kills, but just trading farm. Secret wins that battle. They've got the Midas. There's there's no farm accelerator on the dire side. Yeah. So Secret are in that lovely position now where they can sit back and farm, or they can take fights at their leisure. They can kind of do this however they want and feel safe on either edge. It's like we're just talking down BG so much, but I'm still struggling to see any real opening less Secret grouping up, handing over some really silly engagement. If Secret continue to play tight, crisp, and don't do anything too goofy, this is really hard for the dire side. I think smoke. maybe in five to seven minutes, BG will have enough damage on Juggernaut where they kind of could smoke him solo into the pit and, and take the Roche for free. But I imagine Secret is, they're constantly checking, they're going to smoke into the Roche themselves. RTZ walking in, not being smoke, but they will get so fast that if you don't react to the yeah, you see the dire vision, no clue. The Stentar is still smoking, ready to jump in to counter initiate if something goes wrong, but yep. easy peasy for Secret. And that'll be Artor with an Aegis. Yeah, something that Zai said in his uh, recent interview is that he feels his team is, has a very kind of strong understanding of the game. You know, how can we actually lose in this situation? We're so far ahead. The only way that they can kind of climb themselves back in the game is through Nick Roche. We take that away from them, too. Yeah. So now it's just about map control and crisp execution of these team fights. All the tier one towers down for BG, so it's three to nil on tower count. Radiance top tower is under More and more of them going the way of secret. RTK's been pretty quiet this game also. You, s you see the mech, and perhaps BG anticipating that secret will be the aggressors here, but if you're not fighting, the mech is not quite as much of a value item. They have all the items that could give them a good fight, just not the opportunity to fight yet. Because uh, secret has been uh, denying them the fighting opportunity. Yeah, Spore yeah. gets another counter ward. Just continues farming up. So he'll have about 1,300 gold. We'll see what the Centaur moves into next. I think we saw the Bristleback pick up a Vanguard. So Zai just guard, didn't yeah. even tank here. Yeah, Crimson going to be coming out. You know, if you go for the Trifecta, like the Crimson Mech Pipe, yeah. and just go down mid, does BG actually have enough damage to go through all the road stuff? I don't know. I don't oh. think so. But now in the mid, we're going to see a skewer onto Kuroki. He'll get pushed back right into the BG lineup. And, well, they kill the Visage, but again, it takes quite a bit. No RP use, but they had to commit the Death Ward for it. Is this the longest game ever seeing no RP? Radiance bottom Possibly. 17 <laughs> minutes, no RP is a pretty damn long time. I wonder what the stat is on that. Like, longest pro game before an RP is used. I, I know, like, Black Hole is one of those spells that you don't use for a long time, it's okay, sort of. Yeah. But RP is... Uh, it's a little different. Like, Enigma, more than half that hero's power is the ability to get a fast mech, clear out the jungle, push, push towers. Yeah. yeah. You look at Magnus, a lot more one-dimensional. You know, sure. you're, you're fighting around that RP. You don't, you're not picking this hero for the Empower buff. It's a nice... Well, actually, bonus, this game is going to matter quite a bit, because <laughs> uh, Juggernaut is really playing catch-up. S4, though, coming in about another Invis rune. Mm -hmm. Could pick off Ice Ice here. This guy's just the master of the runes. It's all about the hate series. This game is nothing big. Oh, here comes the Stampede. Lamb. Ooh. <laughs> the, the picnic echo comes out. Okay, well. Well, I mean, he wasn't doing much with that echo, right? Like, yeah, it's hard for him to get in position to use it, so. Yeah, so, you know. It's not a big deal. He lives. It maybe scares him off a little bit. You hear that big thud, and just assume there's backup on the way. And now, see, he looks to the tower. He's got some decent time on the ages, about two and a half minutes. Dyer's so why not? Move up and try to knock down some towers. Swift will be used. Now, this could be a little scary. I don't think 
secret are going to high ground here, but when you maybe look for a tier 2, it does open up that option to look towards the high ground and just try to zerg down to tier 3. Maybe they will try. They got the Aegis, and it's yeah. timing out soon, right? So might as well use it. So, all right, shall we? It's all up to you. How good is your RP? You're just to buy a little bit of time, Shockwave burning things down, but again, mech hasn't been popped. Do they have the, uh... Eight, uh, the I don't think so. Or if he does, it's straight back for BT. Okay. Okay. Yes, no crimson. All right. Smart play though. They don't do much, too much damage to the tower, but they do force BG back into their base. Burning stays top. Finishes off that tier one tower. So makes the best out of that split push. Burning is actually recovered very well, and a, a lot of that is the RP giving you that kind of like mini battle fury buff. But yep. he's now number three on net worth. This is very impressive from from Burning. I mean the reverse polarity or, or the the empower. Did I you say said RP? RP. I oh, said I reverse polarity. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just the terrible. empower. That's yeah, the spell yeah. we're looking for. But he, he's actually going for the standard. Uh, Mantis style, but there's really no silence for debuffing this game. So, do you think he should have gone for like a much heavier damage? Because they do need the damage. Maybe. I mean, Manta, not that bad for the split push. Gives you just a, a little bit of extra uh, to play around with. You can stack and, and move around with it. It might also not be Manta. It could just be a casual Yasha to farm and he'll move yeah. into something a little differently here. He's pulling up that gold. So, we'll see. Actually, Manta is it's pretty excellent as a farming item. You talked about the movement speed for Yasha, but even Stacked if you just it. pop the two illusion and just have it push a wave, with yeah, the crits, you know, you could mow it down pretty quickly. Yeah, great hero. He's going for the stats build with a little extra in the crit. Jog kind of known for that value point in the level one crit. Two hundred percent to twenty. Let's four things close here to Xiaoe, but through Stomp's gonna open things up. Is he gonna die here? It probably will be. RP's gonna get used. Oh no, not like that. That's the first RP of the game, and he's using it as a survival. He might not even survive. And that is just leading the opening here. Blink four for S4. Going on Lamb. Lamb on the run as well. You know, regard oh, oh, casual death for picnic. There's so much picnicking in this game right now, and I think Ice Ice is gonna be dead as well. Definitely, unless this cast does some serious work, bouncing around the heroes, it'll get stopped now as four goes in even further. Back on the lamb and Rosie there with the mech trying to turn around, but in comes Karoki. They get the kill on the centaur, but it'll cost them a witch doctor. ROTK and Lamb pushed back to the well. But meanwhile on the top lane, Hartor gets a tier two tower. He also found a solo kill on the jug while we were watching that fight. So how was that even possible? Did he just get run down? I'm really not sure. Alright. But yeah, a lot of things happening for Secret in that, that fight down bottom. Sure, they lose S4, but even up top, just getting a free Tier 2 tower, this Lycan is huge. 50% ahead of Jug on net worth. This is scary. I think S4 got a little bit, of, he a little bit of overcommitted because obviously he died. And honestly, if you force out an RP and a death ward, and if the Centaur didn't die, they get Raxus right there. Yeah. Because honestly, how are you going to defend against a, a Lycan Centaur just going on your base? But uh, because he did die, BG gets uh, to save their racks a little bit longer, but they did steal a big stack, so... Well, they're trying to. A lot of low health ancients. Uh, let's see BG will be able to clear out most of it, at least that big Drake and his friends. <laughs> very cautious before going down to the low ground. Smart idea from Secret, though, trying to steal the ancients. Very efficient. Puppy with a very well-rounded Dazzle build here. A little extra in the poison, a little extra in the grave. Nothing maxed out. I like this. Getting the best of all the worlds. Yeah, I, I think Grave is probably the first level we should max out. Yeah. I mean, I think Grave against Omni Slash, probably, if you could cast it quickly enough, it's a pretty big uh, part of your defensive capability. Mm -hmm. yeah. Arteezy, picking up that level 3 Necronomicon. Well, I wonder where he goes next. Something like a Basher could be good, just moving to the BKB could also be AC? an option. AC as well. Yeah. They're just looking to break high ground now. Anytime yeah. an item purchase, it's either for pushing or just survive longer so you could push more. And old Zai. Actually not a BKB, yeah. it's an S and Y on the way, so he wants to go a little more right quick, be a little more aggressive. Right item on Bristleback. Gives him everything he needs. So I think uh, right now the, the two most important player on BG is the farm on the Juggernaut and Xiaowei dropping good RPs. Uh, we saw a pretty poor one earlier. It's, it's all up to burning, I guess. All so burning teams. Radiant's middle what? tower. It feels like it all attack. falls back on this. It's like can burning and carry us. Oh, up top, Arteezy may get initiated on smoke rotation. BG not going to be able to do it. It's nighttime, and they will be a little more cautious. Okay, Stuff so be there. let's say BG gets like Gengar. They use the RP and kill Lycan. Is that even so good? Because if Lycan just buy out flat out and just go down your mid, 
it's like possible. A, is that a trade that you want to make? Mm, probably not, but I don't know that Arteezy would buy that. Like that. That feels like too big of a risk. Like, yeah, the RP is down, but just face rushing the You're base. You're so ahead, you don't want to take that. Yeah, they just don't need to. It's just an Ooh. unnecessary risk. Burning gets caught down bottom. The weave flies through. He's losing that armor. Stampede's utilized. He'll try to blade fear to get away, but it won't happen. Dazzle gets the kill. Big pick for attack. secret, though. Chuck, he grabbed a battle fury right before he went down. Interesting item pick up. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, Lamb in some trouble. Arteezy finds a kill there in the big wolf form. Dyer's and even in the mid, Zion in the front attack. line, pushing back the rest of BG. Two. Heroes hitting the deck in the side lane. As now Secret looks to pressure the tier 2 mid. They actually glyphed it. This could open up a window of opportunity for Arteezy just to push up into the top lane and get the rat going on. Yeah, they, they got a 30 second before Juggernaut comes back. They could all just rotate a top and ignore the T2, but they'll take the T2 safe for sure. And you now they're starting to chip damage at T3 as well. Yeah. I thought that he may just try and split push the lane to leave Arteezy top and they'll go as a team mid, but instead they just take the tier 2. Arteezy moves back into the jungle and I don't even know if they'll go for the high ground here. So the Battle Fury choice on Juggernaut might seem pretty awkward because you already have the uh, Empower to give you the cleave. But I really think that if they, they're going to win this game, they need big, uh, big crits. Mm -hmm. and big AoE uh, damage to go with Big AoE damage. Yeah. I mean, Empowered already gives you a little bit of both, but... So now he's got huge... The, the more base damage you have, the bigger your crits are, and the stronger your Omni Slash is, so... I think they're kind of going all or nothing here. But it's it's really weird to see him go for it so late, because... Right. It's a, it's a great farming item, really good. I mean, he did go for all farming tools, though. You look at Mask and Madness, one of the reasons you get it, because it lets you farm in the jungle, opens up Roche, and is also really good with your Omni Slash. Casual Yasha, same deal. Just gives yep. you everything you need nice and efficient. So he's prioritizing a lot of farm, but I don't know if it's working here, Lumi. 12k net worth lead for Secret and about 12k experience as well. BG have a lot of farming to do if they want to get back into this one with the Battle Fury. Well, it's a pretty obvious smoke here. <laughs> well, actually, they're showing two people on the map, so maybe not so obvious. But uh, let's see if they're going to find anything. It doesn't look like it. Kuro with uh, now the Agnum Scepter gets that extra familiar and those mobile wards. Also a gem picked up onto Kuro here. Yeah. Puppy bought it, but more vision control for the Radiant Dyer. They've only got one ward down, and it's up here in the top lane, this little guy. So pretty blind and not a lot of space for them to farm. Yeah, essentially, if you look over to Arteezy, he's already six slotted. I mean, I don't... I don't think Midas counts as slot, but so, so early on, it's in minus well being. He's gonna round it out with the Aegis. It's gonna spawn really, really soon. Wow, and it's a max respawn too. That's actually yeah. kind of unfortunate for Secret. I feel like they could have maybe moved in there a little earlier to put some pressure on the high ground. But again, they have the farming tools, so it's right. really not that big of a concern. So can B BG find a big ultimate, big RP? Mm, we'll see. It's actually Secret that want to be the aggressor oh, here. Zai, he's having a low ground. Find Xiao Wei. Stampede used as the downs will be flying through. Looking for on the backside. Just getting run down. He's got to pop the mech just for himself. And he still dies. Name, yep. He is I left behind. BG were not ready for that. A very smart timing for Secret. Looking at the Roach, they know it's close to the max time. It hasn't responded yet. Smoke on the high ground. And perfect time for a gank. Now this is a free uncontested Roach. Another Aegis for the one. Shout A3 got hit, I think, twice by the uh, Bristleback, and he lost like half health. Granted, he had you know, Reef on him, and there was how bonus, but that's essentially how it's going to be every single fight. And Shao is one of the tankier here, so Bristleback right now packing the damage. Same thing with the, the Wolf. Burning, maybe initiated on up top. Zai in hot pursuit. He's speedy, 455. He picks up the Mystic Staff as well. Burning just TPs out. Smart play there. The only play there. The pain, yeah, the pain tray was coming. Well, the, the alternative was dead. Have we seen an Omni Slash this game? I'm uh, not. kind of a bad sign if we haven't I really. I think so. <laughs> we haven't seen an Omni Slash in 27 minutes. At least said he not just, that I've noticed. Yeah, he's just farming. Like, that's the only thing he can do. He can't go for solo picks. But look at this. It's Blink Dagger on land. All right. That steps in the right direction. Actually, a pretty big item pickup. But they are just walking through so many rewards. Uh, uh, they do have a gem now on the Witch Doctor. He just okay. bought it. So maybe Ice Ice can start getting some vision control back to the team. That could be pretty big. At least more steps in the right direction for BG. Yeah, Witch Doctor got also pinned out immediately. Uh, so Secret is aware of the gem and the D ward that could happen. The yeah. gem got passed somewhere now to, I think, Earthshaker or. Oh, no, uh, to Magnus. Okay. Yeah, Magnus. 
It's a small steps, like you said, baby steps. Mm -hmm. But steps nonetheless, not completely over yet. Secret in a very good spot, feeling confident, but still yet to close this one out. Arteezy farming the dire jungle. He did go for the assault cross, so yep. good call on that one as well. Just more tools, break the high ground, make it even easier. S4 invisible again. What is with this guy? And power. checking the runes. Oh, so he's going to get jumped on. He's going to just tear three. And honestly, I don't think his teammate will come here. He can't even pop the mag. Ice, ice, ice. Well, just two ice, but he just dies <laughs> very quickly. And that opens the door up for the tier three. We're going to do magical. Oh, that goal is going to come through. The RP is going to hit on everybody. And here comes the oh. RPG GG slot with the battle period. What the power, but nobody dies. In fact, it's going to be BG dying. What? Is that the game? How are they still alive? I think that's the game. I think it's going to run you over now. And buyback status. Not that's so good for the Dire. <laughs> I mean, why the hell not? That was BG's entire rotation. Even if they had buybacks here for all five heroes, what do they do? Where does the damage come from? I guess the jump, but they'll just jump on it. What a perfect setup for BG. Everything going their way, and just not enough damage. I saw those cleaves, I was like, Secret is screwed. It looks BG really good. BG is doing it, and then their whole team exploded. Yeah. I mean, coming into this game, we were saying it would shock us if Secret doesn't play perfect and play extremely well. And this this is one of those games. It might, it might be very important for the viewers out there, but it's one of the most well-executed game I've casted. Just yeah. never really overcommitting. I think the only time that if you air quote that uh, they overcommitted was S4 diving a little bit deeper than he needed oh, to. Oh yeah, that bottom gave tier Gave a too. solo kill. Maybe could have ended the game five yeah. minutes they earlier. still got like three kills out of that exchange anyway right. though, so it was so still pretty good. Very crisp from Secret, as we pointed out, like looking at that game, the only way BG can get into this is if they get a five-man RP, if Secret dive the bait, let's do something really silly, and they played very controlled. I mean, they, they tanked the four-man RP at the end, right? Yeah. They were so far ahead with like mechs and They did DCs. it with style, just, yeah. we got this. Didn't matter. Wow. wow. What a game. Secret just looking so strong. and. I don't. Would you say that was an outdraft or an outskill, Lumi, or maybe a combination of both? I think they didn't really give respect to the Lycan. Yeah. Uh, and definitely. the lanes were not uh, built to either win the other side lanes mm -hmm. or gank RTZ enough. So maybe outdraft. Maybe I, I think it's a combination of both. Okay. Well, we've got Bruno and LD joining us again on the panel. What a what what's a, up? What a slap! That huh? was that was brutal. Yeah. We were talking. We were actually watching it with Blitz and uh, the gods right there, and uh, we're, we're very questioning.